In this super short video tutorial, I want to show you a fun and useful website called Recite. And I want to share with you what it can do. Basically, Recite is for creating online posters or memes that you can then share with people. And it's incredibly easy to use and could be useful, I think, in an educational setting. So the website for this, even though it's called Recite, the website is recitethis.com. And when you get to recitethis.com, this is what you'll see. It says enter your quote, select your style, and click create. And that's really all there is to this. So this is going to be a pretty short tutorial. But uh, you just click there and paste in the quote that you want to use or type it yourself. So I'll put in haste makes waste, which is sage advice. Next, I can click through these templates that are here. You can see there's different uh, templates and it gives you a little preview of what it would look like if you ended up choosing that template. Okay, and there's quite a few of these. I'm pretty happy with the variety that you can choose from and what's available. So this one's kind of fun, although the text is pretty tiny, but it looks like it's on cardboard. Okay, there's some other looks that I like quite a bit. And I suppose I'll just settle on this one here and click create. It'll make you wait for a few seconds and then it produces your meme or online poster. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see that a little better. Next, it gives me some options to post it to Facebook, to Tumblr, some of these other websites, or I could just download the image with a click. I also have the ability to link to the image. Just copy that link and I could paste that into an email or put it on a website and share it with somebody that way. I can also email it directly from Recite to a friend just by putting in an email address or more than one separated by commas and then just click send. So pretty simple tool. Now if you have a change of heart, you can see there's a button for that. You can just click, go back. It keeps your text, the quote that you put in, but you can now switch to a different template and click create again. So a pretty simple, easy to use tool but I see it as a great way for students to learn vocabulary. They could very easily make vocabulary posters this way. It's also a great way to put in famous quotes from people that they're studying in a history class or whatever it might be. Let's take a look at the picture that I made and that I downloaded. You can see that the resolution on it, it's a little bit pixelated because the final image is a little small, but still, for the amount of work that I put in, this is a really good result, I think that I could then put into a PowerPoint or a Google Slides presentation or whatever it might be. So I really like Recite. I think it's a nice, handy, simple tool. So thanks for watching and please consider connecting with me on my social media sites so that we can continue to learn together. And I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for a new video at least every Monday.